The child comes and says, I want to marry. You need to go back to the instruction. Oh Allah, you gave me an amana. I looked after this amana. I grew up this amana. And now this amana of yours, it belongs to you, is telling me I would like to marry. Many parents make a mistake. They say to the child, you are ungrateful. I looked after you. I brought you up. I sent you to school. I went to work and spent money on you. I did this. And today you want to marry someone I disagree with. That statement is foolish. That is foolish. That you are removing Allah from the equation. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah can tell you, hey, listen, I gave you the child. You cried for the child. You didn't have children. I gave you the child after so long. And I told you to look after the child. And I told you that I will take away control. Your control of that child because the control is supremely mine. And I told you when the child wants to marry, you need to follow a certain way and a certain method. What is the method? Go back to the Prophet ﷺ. He says, إِذَا أَتَاكُمْ مَنْ تَرْضَوْنَ دِينَهُ وَخُلُوقَهُ فَزَوِّجُوهُ if someone comes to you with a proposal, you are satisfied with their level of deen, their religion, and their akhlaq, their character and conduct. Let it happen. For as long as the child is happy, your daughter is happy, the son is happy, for example. If they are not happy, it will not happen. Did you know that? You can never force a child to marry, no matter who.